Good afternoon, oil traders. It is 3 p.m. Eastern time. We've got one hour left in trading, but it seems as though the trading has basically ended for the day. Um, we're stuck at 50, and 50 has been the name of the day. Um, of course, the 5080 um, short that I wanted to get in that I told you guys this morning uh, never happened. Uh, basically, we dropped below there at the open and uh, never went back up. So <clears throat> never even entered my uh, buy order there because I was, of course, would have waited for at least some uh, kind of hesitation, some settling, uh, but never got my chance. And of course, because I never got my chance to get in on that short, uh, we fell precipitously um, all the way down to a low of 49.74. Um, and uh, we bounced quite a few times, actually. Um, uh, I think three times now we've been uh, below and above $50 mark. Um, so if you are playing the short game, um, the higher frequency trading game, uh, then it could have been a very profitable day uh, for you. Um, if you did, hit me down, up down below on the comments um, on YouTube or over on tradingjournal.ca. I'd love to hear how you guys uh, played this out. Um, of course, as it started to fall, I looked to see if I could get in uh, a uh, sell order for two of my short positions. Um, you can check out my portfolio holdings on tradingjournal.ca. Um, so I was looking to exit two short positions as well as get into a long if we fell far enough. Um, but basically with an hour and a half left in trading at around 2.30, uh, the market basically froze and uh, we have, except for maybe, you know, a different, a, a change in a few pennies, um, we haven't moved from about $50 even. So it seems as though we're going to stay there right into the close and uh, right ahead of API news. Um, and we've got EIA news tomorrow, which of course it at least appears to be everyone is waiting on to tell us which way it's going to go next. Um, for now, my targets are, assuming that we're going down, uh, to sell shorts um, at or below 49.20, to start buying long at or below 49. If we go up, um, I guess we'll see, but uh, I'd like to see that 50.80 mark at least uh, before I re-enter another short position. But yeah, frustratingly, I missed the volatility again today. Um, I was prepared to, to try to get in on it, but it just didn't pan out for me. Um, yeah, so I guess we wait for news and we wait for tomorrow. Until then, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to stay tuned, and I'll check in with you guys ahead of trading tomorrow at or before 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time. Until then, good luck. Cheers.